Um, looking for around, yeah, number type four. Uh, various botanicals, binders, minerals can all help with this. I'm, I'd rather start with you know, the basics, prune juice, rhubarb, uh, fiber. Uh, but if you, start, if you go ahead with laxatives, electrolytes are very important. And then water as well. 60% of a body is water. And then try and get as clean as water as possible. And lastly, healthy, clean diet. So try and avoid the crap. Um, there are a dozen lists. I am not a big pusher on any specific type of diet, ketogenic, Mediterranean. Um, they all have value. That's why they are you know, bad diets. Um, when it comes to someone wanting to go on, I'm more going to clean healthy. If it grows out the ground, consume it. Um, now, if there are certain issues such as um, food sensitivities, uh, gluten, um, if it's not fully you know, sourdough bread, you know, beans, peanuts, lentils, you know, there's a big talk right now on lectins. Lectins cause a lot of inflammation yep. in the gut. Animal protein takes one to two hours to break down in their stomach before it moves into the intestines. It's a long time to wash stress in the gut if you're trying to help support and repair it. And then alcohol and cigarettes, they don't really need to focus on much. So if someone decides to come see me, um, I usually I do use a lot of these um, different herbs, and as you can see, herbs have their own different categories and help with a wide range. A um, big one which I like to point out is um, wild yam. I had the onset of um, food poisoning. I took a tincture of wild yam and uh, it completely nullified the okay. intestinal cramping. It um, unfortunately didn't help with the vomit. <laughs> but uh, peppermint, really good for soothing the throat. And then there's a few extra therapies. So this is the last slide.